take his stock on the patients uh, in foot and ankle in trauma Dr. Rajiv. Yeah, if you could share my screen, yes. Uh, I hope uh, my screen is visible to you all. Yes, very well visible. Yes, sir. And, Proceed. Uh, yeah. Uh, so change is the way of life. May it be iPhone, notes, car, or the advertisement. This is also the way of orthopedics. We were going ahead with a prime fusion, and now we have moved to a kind of biological. We at Baroda Orthopedic Association had to change. We had one of our speaker who was to speak on sports injury and ankle, Dr. Carlo Bormon, Philippines Foot and Ankle Society, who had a medical emergency on his kid and really changed his schedule and he was not available. I am proceeding with this talk. So it's time to change. Let's leave the change. Change definitely is a good thing. So that's what I'm going to talk. What are the changing newer trends in foot and ankle trauma management? What is concepts have changed, techniques have changed, techniques have changed, and technology has changed. And let's look forward to all this after another. So, what are the change concepts in foot and ankle trauma management? Now, is this a or is this an unstable one? Uh, isolated fracture. And we were taught that the medial examination is the key. A swelling on the medial side, ecchymosis on the medial side means lateral malleolar fracture and it requires fixes. But it is believed that medial examination is unreliable. To do a gravity stress testing or other stress views, sure whether this fracture, which looks innocuous on gravity stress, open, displaces, and there is a medial space. So stress testing is a must to decide about stability of isolated lateral malleolar fracture. A concept about posterior malleolus fixation, that if it is more than 25% of the articular surface, or if the fracture has depression or the step into the articular surface, 3 mm, this requires fixation, may be anterior to posterior or posterior to anterior. Maybe it with a screw. This change. And now it is believed that it is not the size of the malleolus. It is the stability of the ankle matters. It is the attached strong posterior inferior tibiofibular ligament, syndesmotic ligament, which requires fixation of posterior malleolus from posterior to anterior and preferably with a plate. Syndesmosis. We have a lot of controversies in syndesmosis, but now it is believed that either for a syndesmosis, either you use arthroscopy, but better would be open reduction, where you see it under vision with a two to four centimeter incision at and near the syndesmosis. So this kind of definitely requires a syndesmotic fixation in an open way. So for syndesmosis, please go ahead with open reduction. As far as possible, avoid finger for your reduction and fixation with screw fixation is more preferred. And a reduction is just not at the incisura, but at the joint line where Mercedes Benz signs. So these are change concepts for syndesmotic fixation. There is, we were taught that deltoid injuries are to be treated conservatively. We always literature that the acute repair of deltoid ligament is not indicated. But if we see the present concepts, it is said that it is better to address deltoid surgically so that you can mobilize the patient fast and the later death complications. So today, the tune is to repair or reconstruction. Every ankle fracture should be stressed to deltoid injury 
once you do complete fixation and it is advisable to repair deltoid ligament in an active individual less frank injury we know that it can it should not be kvr but we do fix we do used to fix it today it is understood that the bridging plates are better used because these bridge plate not to violate articular cartilage of the small tarsal bones and there really prevent occurrence of later arthritis so bridge plate are preferred over the screws that's a change concept for this zone fracture we used to treat it fully with plaster immobilization but it is now believed that intramedullary to be used for young active and sports population for jones fret because it heals with a delay and is fixed in a sportsman or in a young and active individual with this screw it gives a result certain fractures we used to do primary fusion because they were non reconstructable looking at such kind of pilon fractures advise that they are non reconstructable and you can go ahead and do fusion but like elsewhere in the body primary fusion is not this and for over the primary fusion in non reconstructable pilon fractures considering a case of sender 4 i used to believe that sender 4 requires primary fusion but the literature changed the concept saying that try to fix sender calcaneus to the best of your ability so that later date fusion over that surface is easier the another concept change the midfoot fractures which were non reconstructable should not be primarily fused but it reconstruct them with a fixation and that is how in the we did so like elsewhere in the body later date fusion is is primary reconstruction is carried out for non reconstructable pilon calcaneus and midfoot fractures mid ankle fractures we were treating it with ankle fusion but it is said that ankle is a very very important as far as possible try to follow recon then fusion like we did in this case this lady presented to us at the end of with this kind of malunited fracture which was reconstructed so reconstruction in fracture and this are these are the kind of movements she got after recon of the ankle fracture so reconstruction of ankle people have tried to 3 4 5 years if there is a flow thread is and there is no global arthritis which is set in so that with respect to change concepts in foot and ankle trauma management now i'm going to talk on newer techniques which have come for foot and ankle treatment so the most in technique is arthroscopy assist and for all intraarticular fractures to delineate cartilage injury to do excision to delineate injury to the uh, osteochondral lesions ligaments you need to do an arthroscopy assisted fit this female 34 had a road traffic accident cyclist holding limca book record and this is how she had her ankle with a impacted articular a uh, depression this was the ct scan like articular fracture a high demand athlete works so for her we went in for a a o r i f that is arthroscopy assisted open reduction internal fixation to the first stage external fixator was in we waited for the wrinkles in the second stage we went in for an arthroscopy assisted open reduction internal fixation two portals were created how the uh, fragment which was lying in the ankle was pushed fixed temporarily with the k wire this is how osteochondral tibia was treated and then joystick reduction of the fragment followed by active fixation with the look into the joint whether we have reduced it nicely constructed the articular surface nicely or not and then final fixation went on she won the championship of 2018 draw 45 from assam and came to meet me this was in 
2018 that she has started driving her car and a full range of another case of pilon fracture again intraarticular c2 type fractures arthroscopy assisted and internal fixation and there were this kind of depressions which are lifted up an articular was reconstructed calcaneus fracture normally invasive calcaneus surgery is now practiced with or weight subtalar arthroscopy even open induction internal of calcaneus is also practiced added with a dry subtalar arthroscopy where 1 mm 30 degree scope used and a fracture line which is used well or not can be identified with the use of anterior and posterior dry subtalar arthroscopy whenever you are doing a calcaneus fracture fixation now this is the case of my finished school uh, when you have very poor soft tissue arthroscopy access and helps you this was this of fracture dislocation in talus talus was extruded out and the skin condition which was good was on a posterior so posterior ankle arthroscopy was done and talus was reduced back the intraarticular intraoperative pictures two posterior screws were passed after doing the reduction and this is how a bad talus fracture is fixed with the arthroscopy assistance so arthroscopic assistance helps in precise fixation of intraarticular fractures where you want to delimit injuries cartilage injuries and detect and treat osteochondral lesions of the there is another emerging technique you have a poor soft tissues for a calcaneus fracture you could do minimally invasive and you can augment the size of the bone with a balloon kyphoplasty and this is, you can push in a balloon you can expand the depressed bone you can lift up the depressed articles fill it with the cement and this is really used in the articular depressions in calcaneus as well as midfoot fractures uh, this is Uh, 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 technique developed by Professor Nunley. Wherever he feels that the blood supply is at risk, he uses uh, uh, bone uh, vascularized bone pedicle grafts from the form into talus, into cuboid, into navicular. He wants to put the vas dissected and the pedicle is turned like this. Then pedicle is at a fractured area. This is a bit. of the fracture more so into stress fractures whenever it is being into the athletes so vascularized pedicle bone grafts they help in the reconstruction of talus and navicular fractures which has very high chance of avas fractures now come to some newer implant which has come in foot and ankle management these are memory staples these are nichilon memory staples is that memory and once you put it into the fracture compression of particular fracture people have started using in brace that is a mini tight rope for lifting where the sprain fracture compression is done and the problem of the breakage of the screw or extraction of the screw is avoided by using this internal brace there are many is which are being used for the bone loss the cages are the one which we use in the spine fracture and that has been used into the midfoot and forefoot bone loss up with the bone grafts now fibular nails are used into the condition uh, real poor condition skin condition old aged patient or diabetic patient where you want to as you want to do sinus you can use fibular nails and you can do kind of fixes and it's a lot with some endoscopic through the fibular nail intramural for calcaneus fracture is in war since long it is the one which really prevents the later dead collapse of the calcaneus fracture that is what is said antibiotic implanted nails are available for tibio talo for infection so these are some new ones which are available in and management and last to talk about some newer technologies into foot and ankle management very very important for ankle fracture 
Ectera operative CT. When we think that this fracture is a simple fracture, but it's got an uh, injury of syndesmosis, this is how the modern cotton test looks like with a simple innocuous looking ankle fracture. This is enteroposterior ballotment toxin. And even if you use the syndesmosis well, you are really afraid when syndesmosis is well fixed and mal reduction chances are quite and so, the ideal tool to help in the intraoperative 3D, where you can manage intraoperative detect malactions, which may go unnoticed under on EM, especially rotatory malalignment. Some intraarticular implant are there or not. Implant is pierced intraarticularly or not. You can detect, you can detect loose body and detect marginal joint effects by intraoperative 3D imaging. Inter CT scan is available for fixation of the ankle fracture, the uh, renowned as in the world, where they do verify syndesmotic reduction before after syndesmotic fixation through an inter CT scan. Weight bearing CT scan is another through foot and ankle orthopedics and trauma want to have in three dimensional architectural of 28 which are there in foot and ankle want to really know the angles between this nine slopes everything and you really want to understand that how impacted this uh, fractures and so it is very very in understanding of less frank injury more so subtle less frank injury injury again syndesmotic sprains very very important and some subtle fractures and some stress fracture in foot and ankle, weight bearing CT scan is being, unfortunately, it is yet not available in India. In weight bearing CT scan, you could end up subtle, less frank subluxation and dislocations. And there is now a weight bearing CT society who is extensively utilization of weight bearing CT in foot and ankle orthopedics. Allograph replacement for fractures where you have a defect in use of the ankle. Look at this case, road traffic accident in a young adult, a crushing the foot with pound fracture of the talus, that of the medial dome had a comminuted fracture fibula. On day one, debridement was, this was the kind of picture after debridement on the lateral the X-ray when he was referred to us end of X-ray as were put in clinical because the foot and again showed communism into the medial aspect of the talus, which almost looked like medial side of us at the CT images again. Coronal imaging. So, in for the surgery number two, where a debridement was done, external fixator was put in, an antibiotic integrated cement spacer was put for days, days of medium cortics placed in So, that a uh, clinical image after surgery. And this was a closer view. We put in a VAC application. And this were the X-rays. Fibula was fixed with the two K wires, and the medial lost part of the talus was replaced with a uh, antibiotic spacer. This was a lateral view. And then it went on to heel skin graft over the, and this was at the end of is that fixator was removed. Everything looked healed. The patient was taken for a definitive fixation. So what next? Problems like precarious soft tissue envelope, segment short with combination and bone loss, and 55% of the talar body lost. How to replace? And then there was a shell of the neck with a fracture of the neck of talar to fix. And these all problems were solved. Precarious soft tissue envelope, we went in for a medial approach, and lateral approach was at the end the fibula. 
and segmental cord fibula plus comminution was treated with some of the fibular length and the syndesmotic and bone grafting 55% of the talar body which was lost was replaced with talar this low graft this was the spacer which was removed and into which a uh, talus which was shaped like a lost medial talar body was kept in and fixed with the two screws and we did match the surface to graft with the ankle surface original bone posterior shell of the neck of talus treated with cancellous bone grafting and fixation of the screws ultimately this was the final result so replacement is a viable option in foot and ankle trauma with defects the last part discussion on to thing which would be to our rescue for trauma and bone loss and we have 3d images available which can see bone defect this is a case of a friend who treated this case with a 3d printed cage loss of the bone was treated with a 3d printed cage or a defect or the pn was treated with a cage through which and ttc nailing was done so this was the final result so this is available uh, uh, surgeon to really use for a uh, fusion but look at this case i have presented this case before in boa so i will just rush through this was a case where there was loss due to a compound injury patient's relative they brought talar this the kind of a shape after 3 days and they wanted me to put it back i got ct scan of this talus which was brought uh, injury site and got a type 3d printed total talus prosthesis this was then implanted into the uh, ankle and this is how the went in and this were the post operative image patient and after we must have done now seven or eight total talus some vertication where we have restored reconstructed the ligaments also and all now this is the case where we had a medial as well as lateral ligament uh, innovated into a process and look at this kind of movements and get at the end of three months after total talus replacement and and after a uh, bad injury was treated with total talus replacement was walking at the end of the so 3d printed total talus replacement is probably the most technology you we do not really know how long would it last but presently it's a tech is in go to end he said this before many years not strongest not the fittest not the intelligent who but it is the one who is most adaptable to would serve and that trauma has also changed over a period of year thank you very much and thank you boa for giving me this opportunity